California judge has thrown out an indictment against a boat captain who was charged with manslaughter for the deaths of 34 people on board. That fire on board the Conception was one of the deadliest maritime disasters in U.S. history, and it happened three years ago today. ABC 13 reporter Jessica Willey talked to a Houston man whose sister was among the victims. He says he has found a peace after a great tragedy. Brett Harmeline wanted to share what he calls his healing journey. He didn't want to comment on today's developments, a judge ruling that the indictment didn't specify that the captain acted with gross negligence, which was required. The U.S. Attorney's Office wants to appeal. Harmeline and other victims' families are pushing for change, but today was about his sister and what he's learned. I'm a little bit restless. It has been a long day for Brett Harmeline. Up at 2.30 this morning in Pennsylvania, on a flight back to Houston, and in our studio late this afternoon. He couldn't sleep. Three years ago today, his older sister... I've always felt energetically connected to Christy. Christy Finstad died, along with 33 others on a boat off the California coast. Some days it feels like it was forever ago, and then some days it feels like it was just yesterday. Christy was a well-known diver and the trip's dive master on the conception when it erupted in flames. The victims were sleeping in a bunk room below deck and couldn't escape. It was one of the deadliest maritime disasters in U.S. history. Brett and other victims' families believe it should be mandatory that a crew member always be awake. Only crew members and the captain survived. This could have really been prevented is my judgment. Brett and Christy had extreme adventures together. She was a marine biologist, a fierce conservationist, and his closest sibling. Her death affected him in so many ways. That day I was I committed to living my biggest life. He got married, got his MBA, and committed to serving others. He says he found peace by being honest about his emotions. I know that it's temporary. After Christy's death, he leaned hard on his faith and says he has learned from his healing journey. He hopes others can learn too. I would just encourage people to live your dream starting now and not wait because you just really don't know when your time is going to, when, when winter is coming or when your time is up. Jessica Willie, ABC 13 Eyewitness News.